Good morning, guys. Hey, still on prefixes, unit 25. As promised, I really kind of want to talk to you about what the word pre means. Now, believe it or not, pre is actually a prefix in the word prefix. <laughs> it, it, it's pre is a, an example of a prefix, and it comes before fixes to, to show that it comes before the fixes or before the fixture of the word, which we call the root word. Now, if you remember what prefixes do, this is what we can call the fixed word, or again, what we would call the root word, like, right? Well, a prefix is that little tiny part that comes before it that can completely change it. For instance, you would not say, oh man, I really dislike pudding, it's so good. No, you're not using it correctly. Dislike means you completely change it, like, oh man, I dislike, you know, spinach and broccoli and Brussels sprouts. It's showing you don't like it. That's what prefixes do, and that's what the word pre means. This always helps me to remember what pre means to understand that it comes before the word. I hope it doesn't confuse you, but the reason I'm explaining what pre means is because next week, Unit 26, we're talking about suffixes which come after the word. So I don't want you to get prefix and suffix mixed up. Prefix or pre means it comes ahead of time. For instance, you could pre-order the PS5, right? What does that mean? You don't have to wait till it's actually in the stores. You can pre-order it or order it ahead of time. Remember, pre means before, right? So you can order it before it's in the stores. Wow, unbelievable. If you ever watch football on TV, um, this is something that's called the pre-game show. So we have the Cardinals game, right? But the pre-game is a show before it. They talk about, oh, what they think is going to happen. They make a prediction. They say, oh, the Cardinals are going to win. This guy's going to throw for, for 300 yards or whatever it's going to be. But that's what the pre-game show is. It's what they talk about before the game. Here's another example. <clears throat> this is something that's called the preseason. Think about it again. We have the regular season, but the preseason comes, ah, yep, before the season. So these are kind of practice games, right? Yes, they count, but they don't count towards your regular season record. So you can lose all of your preseason games because you're trying to get these guys practice and that guy practice and this group practice because that's really what it is, is, is warm-up games because these are games that come before the season, pre-season. Now, that's what prefixes do. They come before the word and they change the meaning. We are sticking with re and un. Re again means do it uh, again, and un means not. Prefixes, so they come before the word. Just like we have this, rewrite, refill, replay, redo, retell, right? Oh, you tell the story. Oh, I couldn't hear it. Can you please retell the story? Hey, Mom, I did my homework. I didn't do it right. You need to redo it. You need to do it again or again. Tell it again. That's where these words are going to help you out. This 1 through 6 kind of helps you out with um, the opposites, right? A nice person is kind. A mean person is unkind. Un means not, so not kind. There you go. Now, let me help you out here a little bit with uh, this prefix code for numbers 7 and 12. So you guys have a, a little bit of code breakers here, basically. And please notice that you have a lot of different numbers and, and symbols, but notice how it also matches up with the letter. So in other words, it's 6452. That's not a spelling word. So here's what you do. These are going to be the root words here that you find the codes for. And then notice, don't forget this section down here. It says, now add the prefix re or root word to write one of these words. So let's do this one. Six. Uh, oh, six is L. So I put L here. By the way, you also know this is going to be L, 
And this is going to be L, right? Oh, I can work ahead. Okay, number four. No, oh, number four is I. Okay, oh, oh, here's a four. That's an I. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, number five is a K. And yeah, you can probably figure out what the word's going to be just to make sure two is E. Yep. Okay, oh, look, I can also work ahead. There's a, there's a two. That's going to be an E. So, okay, let's stick with number seven. The word is like. Don't forget this section down here. It says now add the prefix re or un to each word, and you might know that it's ah uh, here. Look, number seven. So you spell un. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me let me erase that. We know it's a number seven. Sorry about that. Number seven is down here. Unlike. And that's how you do it. Now you got more of the code. Sorry, I, I erased it all. But that's how you do that there. Um, that is how we do this spelling assignment. And my fine folks, I hope you have a very wonderful day as you praise your Savior.